felt it in that one, I won't lie. I kind of felt it a little bit. Oh my god. 19.76 pounds of boost. Yeah, dog. Go! Hot cars. Hot cars. <laughs> All right, what is good, you guys? Uh, so, today me and the homeboy Cam are gonna try to do a couple of things. We're gonna try to, for starters, get his turbo out so he can put his new VF in. He just got a VF48 for like, what, like 500 bucks, right? 560, something like that. Turbo probably equaled like 300 bucks. Oh, that's not that bad. Okay. 300 bucks, 100 bucks for the SCI top mount, and then 100 bucks for the sedan quarter panels. We have one bolt right here that's rounded. He already pretty much got it all started without me because he hates me and doesn't want me to do any work with him. But right now we're just trying to see how we can get this rounded nut out. And then after we finish up with this turbo, we're going to do some suspension stuff. Try to get our sway bars in. So I'm going to take my old sway bars out, put in those 24 mils that I've had for literally like 8 months now. And uh, Cam's going to take my old sway bars because right now he has none. What you got in here, buddy? It's a 57 foot block. SCI crank. Ooh, goodies, goodies. All right, so okay. there's no oil pan, but there's the oil baffle, oil pickup. I mean, these bearings don't look bad. He said he pulled the motor before it was audibly knocking. Okay. But he, what happened was he bought an 05 Legacy GT Spec B, didn't bother to check the oil, drove it 150 miles, started noticing a knock. Checked the oil, said, shit, there's only like a quart and a half of oil in here. Drove it another 500 miles, then pulled the motor. I've done that before too. Last year I was riding pretty dry for like a month and didn't realize it, so. I guess that's just a thing that we all do. You're gonna you're gonna have it happen too when, we'll, when the blah blah gets on the road. You're gonna be like, oh man, I just changed it like two weeks ago. And then you're gonna check it and be like, what? That shit is bone dry. <laughs> no. All right. Taking a quick O'Reilly's parts room because we can't really get anything to get that nut off. I tried using my cutting wheel, but then it died. And the 14s that we have, like, they work on there, but we'll be here until it fucking gets dark, so. We're trying to get this done so we can do other things, too. Those 14s Yeah, they're like, chump jay and Woo! Is it either but still work? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay, it does. <laughs> you guys know, if you own a Subaru, this is the one thing that you guys have to all do. We need it at O'Reilly's, but look at this thing. This thing is gorgeous. Look, there's one more right over here, too. <sighs> All right, let's go cut some bolts. Okay, so literally everything that we grabbed at O'Reilly's didn't work, unfortunately. So, well, it worked, it's just painfully slow. Like, yeah, so we're also gonna try to use that saw to see if we can get that stupid bolt that's stuck uh, under my evap box for the uh, sway bars. <laughs> Okay, so I'm under my car right now, and I was trying to get out some sway bar bolts. So I'm actually I'm on the driver's side. So I'll show you. Hold on. That's the back bolt right there. So that's like that's the back of the car, right? That this side I already did. I did this like a few months ago. Everything came out pretty easy. I mean, not really. That bolt sheared itself. That's why there's a new one in there. And then that front one came out just fine. Now on the other side. Uh, we're having the exact same problem that we have with this one, where it's probably going to shear itself off, but there's another added problem of it being rounded. And that normally wouldn't be an issue, but if you guys can see, it's an issue because it's right over here where the EVAT box is. That EVAT box is super duper crusty with all of its bolts down there, so I can't really move that and everything is just in the way here i tried using extractors i tried to drill and i tried just smashing a socket on there so i mean if you guys have any suggestions i'm open to them but right now i quit because this is like my fourth time trying to do my sway bars and i haven't been able to do it and i'm really upset so 
and help Kev finish his turbo, and we'll go from there. Sam, like I'm building 25 pounds of boost and going. But I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, you're putting a new VF in here. You're not tuned yet. I just no, don't think it's I'm the, not tuned at all. For I just anything. don't think it's the best idea. I don't care. That's that's Adrian why. He's running external wastegate without a tune. Fair enough. Okay. Wait, we can do that. He is. New VF is in there. Um, getting the old one out <gasps> isn't that much of a problem, but getting this new one in there is a bitch and a half. So we're gonna try to two hand this and get it in there. This is literally reminded me of when we did my outpipe and had to struggle with that for like three days straight. So I don't awesome. want to remember your outpipe. Yeah, well, this is what it reminds me of. Look, he even dropped coolant on the uh, on the trans and inside of his headers and everything, oh. so it's gonna smoke like crazy. sway bars and like have it not be a freaking problem you know so i'm just a little bit upset that's all we are in cam's car trying to make sure that we don't die making sure that it actually runs properly and i'm sure it will but i am still absolutely terrified my VF right now and be super irresponsible. Oh, I think my fucking, I think I twisted that cap. That cap's 100% twisted, like loose, like I could. Bruh, that, that explains it, okay. Yep. All right, well we'll tighten that so down. So that explains where that came from. Yep. Looks like most of the coolant's coming, or most of the coolant's done burning off of my fucking turbo. Pretty much, yeah. It's still gonna burn out of my exhaust system for a while. Yeah. gosh. Let me go move my car so you can get back in your driveway, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Game plan for this year is next week I'm going to South Carolina with a lady. Um, we're going to see her family for a little bit, so I'll probably try to vlog that, but maybe not. And then as soon as I get back, uh, we're going to do all fuel stuff. So we're going to get injectors, we're going to get pump, we're going to get rails, we're going to get lines. We're going to get all that stuff so we can figure out what's going on with this EVAP problem. And we're also going to tackle suspension at the same time. Um, sway bars, I'll honestly probably go to Function Automotive and have them see, or see if I can have them put that in there because... I cry every time I try to do it. So that's what that's what's happening. I did get a new cop shift knob for Cam, so I appreciate him for that. Also, gotta change that belt, or maybe it's a pulley or something. I don't really know. I'm not gonna lie. Made myself very mad today, guys. But I tried to get a video out for you guys. I'm trying to do more, whether it's like a five-minute video, two-minute video. I'm trying to get more content out for you guys. I'm sick of not, you know, providing for you guys. So I'm sorry about that. Um, this video is probably on the shorter side, but I hope you guys, you know, liked what we were doing. It wasn't anything crazy. And, uh, hope to see you guys in the next video. And hopefully we have better results next time. Peace out, guys.